My name is Corinne Gregory, and today I will be going over the menu from circa 1886 in Charleston, South Carolina, and pairing each entree and appetizer with beers. For the Southern Grilled Cheese with Mento Cheese Mousse, Grilled Brioche, Serrano Ham, Paddlefish Caviar, and Curd Yolk Powder, um, for beer, I would recommend um, a stronger American barley wine. Um, that would be great with this grilled cheese. The residual sugar in the barley will balance um, the sweetness against the bitterness of the hops. So the barley wine will kind of just lift the fat of the cheese and bread with the carbonation. Um, and this will just really complement the dish. Um, I would specifically go with an American Sierra Nevada Bigfoot barley wine from California. Um, you can also pair this dressed up grilled cheese with an Irish stout. An Irish stout will kind of tease out the sea flavors of the caviar and the dryness of the beer intensity. will just draw out the salt and magnify the flavors of the ham in the dish. Um, Irish, Irish stouts use this flavor contrast with the bone dry assertiveness, so it would go really great with this grilled cheese. And I would specifically go with an Irish stout called a Guinness Drought. For the foie gras with the cassava pudding, pomegranate, strawberry jam, hazelnuts, and lime basil oil, um, I think that foie gras goes great with the doubles, specifically best with the sweeter doubles. Um, the dark and fruity flavors of the beer will meet with the gamey flavors of the meat and will just kind of work well with the herbs in the dish, specifically a Koning Chauvin double from the Netherlands. Um, I would also recommend a British barley wine with the foie gras. Um, this would best be paired with a sweeter variety of a barley wine because the sweetness of the malt um, is kind of counterpart to the gaminess of the dish and the hops will just help cut the dish. And I would go with a British barley wine from St. Mars of the Desert um, called Our Finest Regards. For the poached egg appetizer with watercress, cauliflower, sour soup, mushroom conserva, pumpkin seed, and duck fried cornbread, um, I would pair this with a Belgian wheat beer. This beer is light in alcohol and blended with citrus, so it'll pair well with the strawberry and citrusy taste of the sour salt. Um, I would recommend adding just a squeeze of lemon to the dish when pairing it with a Belgian wheat beer, just to kind of bring out the flavors even more. Um, and the orange notes of the beer will kind of just help to punctuate the egg with and enhance the natural flavors of the dish. I would specifically go with the Hogarden Original White Ale wheat beer from Belgium. Um, you can also pair this with an American wheat beer. This is a very bright, zippy, and light beer that has high carbonation, which will allow for it to complement the egg and the flavors of the dish. And I would go with an Avery Island Rascal wheat beer from Colorado. For the Galantine of Poulet Rouge with garlic, chive, crostini, frizzy, um, truffle aioli, radish, and chow chow, um, I would pair this with a Belgian pale ale. The caramel flavors from the skin of the chicken will match up with the beer and just enhance the overall tasting experience of both the dish and the beer. The herbs in the beer will also kind of line up with the herbs in the dish and on the chicken, and the garlic crostini and cha cha relish will work well with the hoppy edge of the beer. The delirium tremens pale ale from Belgium would go really great with this. Um, I, you could also have a Belgian strong golden ale. With this dish, um, the beer would kind of pick up and complement the garlicky, f garlicky flavors in the dish, and the clean hot bitterness will meet with the garlic and just work to lift the oils and flavor on your palate, which will definitely enhance the overall taste. Um, and I would go with the Duvel Belgian Strong Golden Nail. For the shrimp and rice grits appetizer with cabbage leaves, burden creek, dairy goat cheese, and smoked ham hot gravy, um, I would pair this with a Belgian strong golden ale. The golden ale is loaded with acidity and is a really good match. It would go great if you just squeeze, squeeze a bit of lemon on the dish and as it would add to the flavors of both the shrimp and the beer. The Parat strong golden ale from Van Stegenberg in Belgium would be great with this. And I would also recommend a Belgian wheat beer. The beer is light enough to pair with shrimp and the citrus and tartness will kind of just enhance the natural flavors of the dish and the beer. Uh, the wheat beer will also lift the oils of the shrimp and the ingredients of the dish without disturbing the flavor. And I would go with a Bavik Super Wit Wheat Beer from Belgium. Okay. 
Moving on to entrees, starting with the paprika grouper with leeks and kale, crispy fingerling potatoes, manchego cheese, and preserved tomato and caper crudo. Um, I would pair this with a triple. Um, a grilled grouper has some faint flavor of burnt sugar, so this will match the flavor in the beer, and the triple beer will lighten the perceptions of the food without dominating them. Specifically, I recommend a St. Benedict's triple beer from Belgium. I would also recommend a British bitter with this dish. A British bitter beer is light and breezy and will match sea sweetness with the malt of the beer. The sweetness of the British beer will also work with the cheese and crispy potatoes to counter the salt in the meal. And the Fuller's British Bitters beer from London Pride it would be a great match with this dish. For the um, 1855 beef tenderloin entree with heart of palm puree, king trumpet mushroom, asparagus, roasted potato, and sauce espinal espinolage, um, I would pair this with um, a British brown ale. Uh, the light roasted character of a British brown ale will pick up the earthiness of the mushrooms and asparagus in the dish, which will really complement the flavors. Um, a British brown ale will also serve as a great base for the beef flavors in the dish. Um, specifically, the new Castle brown ale from Heineken would be great. Um, I would also recommend an American pale ale with the beef tenderloin. Um, a pale ale has a fuller carbonation and higher strength to kind of just push the flavors differently than bitters. Uh, the beer will also latch onto the juiciness and tenderness of the dish, which will heighten the overall flavor. And the Westbrook one claw rye pale ale from South Carolina would be a great choice. For the broken arrow venison with roasted onion, pardonip, potato puree, acorn squash, and juniper chestnut sauce, um, I would pair this with a British porter. A British porter is very rich and elegant with restrained bitterness and silky taste. Uh, it would go great with venison as the gamey flavor of the meat will work well with the dark malts of the beer. I would go with the Samuel Smith Taddy Porter from England for this dish. And you can also pair this with a fruit lambic beer from Belgium. The acidity of the beer will just fat the, will cut the fat of the venison, while the fruity flavors will provide a really great contrast of the flavors of the dish. And the Boone Framboyo fruit lambic beer from Belgium would be perfect. For the chicken fried duck breast entree with Hop and John, um, turnips and tops, orange and grapefruit with salad, and butter biscuit gravy. Um, I would pair this with a double. The duck will match with the darker, fruitier flavors of a double. Um, the flavors of raisin and rum and prunes will just work with the duck, and the carbonation of the beer will just kind of work to lift the fat from the palate, which will allow for a really great complement to the dish. And the beer will also match the deep, chocolatey kind of game flavors of the duck. Um, specifically, I would go with a chime double from Belgium for this dish. To go along with the theme, um, you could also pair this dish with a triple beer. The bitterness is restrained in a triple and has a great dry finish with a slightly malty palate, allowing for some sweetness. So this will really complement the duck with its bitterness and just herbal aromatics. And I would pick a stiffed Egenzel triple beer from Austria for this. For the peri-peri pork belly entree with coconut red rice, collard greens, red onion pigali, and guava puree, um, I would pair this with a Belgian Flanders brown ale. Um, the flavors of raisin and prune in the malt will match the pork and complement the flavors of the meal. And the pork is full of flavor that kind of just needs the acidity of a brown ale to cut through it. The Monk's Cafe Flemish brown ale from Belgium is a great match for this. Um, and you can also pair this dish with a triple beer. A triple beer is lightly hoppy with a dry finish and fruity, spicy aromatics. So the subtle sulfur note of this beer will also complement the collard greens and red onions in this dish. Um, it also pairs great with pork and it, as it has like a firm bitterness and herbal aromatics to taste. Um, and I would specifically recommend a West Molly triple Trappist ale from Belgium. For the rainbow trout entree with sunflower sumac crust, wild rice porridge, corn sauce, arugula, and cranberry paint, um, I would pair this with a Belgian Orville beer. The bright aromatics of lemon and dark earthy notes will make an Orville beer a perfect accompaniment to this dish. 
The beer is bitter and bone dry with a nose of citric hops, lemon, sage, and damp earth, and that will specifically complement the wild rice, arugula, cranberry, and just fishy flavors of the chop dish. Um, you can also pair the trout with a British bitter beer. The trout is very oily, so it requires more robust bitters that can be found in a British bitter. Um, the lightness of the beer will also match the sweetness with malt, so the slight sweetness in the bitters will work well with the trout to just counter the saltiness. And specifically, I would go with the Goose Island Honkers British Bitter Ale from the U.S. For the sea scallops entree with blue corn grits, copper carrots, brussels sprouts, and vanilla bean vinaigrette, um, I would pair this with a triple. All triples have a really subtle sulfur note and it plays out well with vegetables. Um, so the sulfurous vegetables in the cabbage family will go great with this. Um, so in this dish, a triple would pair great with the brussels sprouts. Uh, further, a triple goes great with fish and seafood, and the scallops have the fat to blunt the beer's hops. Um, I would specifically recommend a Rochefort triple from Belgium. I would also pair this dish with the British Porter. Uh, the sugar in the British Porter will match the sweetness of the scallops, which also has a natural sweetness that sears and caramelizes the pan. Um, I recommend the Black East Brewing Porter from the United States.